Hello and welcome to a little bit of photo pee today. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the pen tool in photo pee. Okay. Um, you know, for a couple years now, I've been teaching you how to uh, select items in Photoshop using like the lasso tool or the polygonal lasso tool or the magic wand, whatever. But you know, that's not how I would actually do it in industry. I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's not been a lie. It's just that if I taught you this earlier in grade 10, it just would have been just blown your mind a little bit. It would have been too, it would have been not simplified enough. And so now you guys are grade 12, and I'm going to show you something that's uh, a better way of doing things. Okay. I don't know if you remember the pen tool from the logo design in grade 10. If you didn't take grade 10 with me, that's okay. Um, but uh, so I'm going to give you a little tutorial on it right now. Sorry, full disclosure, the people that took grade 10 are going to be uh, in better shape right now. Uh, so this is uh, the picture of uh, the dog in the toy convertible right now. I'm going to just hide these layers here and I'm just going to work with this layer and I'm going to crop out this layer. Now, actually, this uh, car right now would actually do very well with the automatic um, like object selection tool where I would just click around it and see how it actually did a good job of selecting around it. It does okay, okay, um, but um, if I were to uh, if I were to select that, I usually find that the selections are not that great. They're kind of fuzzy. They're not perfect. And I, I just like to do things by, by hand because it's always better if I do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this pen tool right here. And I get rid of my selection like I got right now. So deselect or control D. And I'm going to, uh, just like in, uh, in Illustrator, I can start creating shapes, okay? And uh, it's the same thing with the same handles. Uh, if I were to hold down, let's see if this works. If I hold down the option key, oh, I can make corners this way and go back to the, excellent, okay? Um, so let's go into it, but you can see here that when I'm doing it, it's automatically making a new shape and automatically making a new layer. That's fine, and we can do that. And, and, and that's a wonderful way to, in order to make shapes in, uh, in Illustrator, oh, sorry, and, and Photoshop. Um, but I wanna crop out this car, so I'm gonna get rid of this. All right. There, I just deleted it. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in on here. And uh, if I were to click on the pen tool, and you see up at the top layer, there it says shape. Okay, if I go shape, I can just go path. And what that is, is I'm just making like an invisible path. And I can, I can just go and I can just make a path. Just like in grade 10, if you were uh, tracing, a, um, uh, tracing the logo in grade 10. Now I've kind of run out of room on my page here. Going to, oh, I, I want to use this hand tool just to kind of, whoops, use this hand tool in order to navigate around a little bit. Uh, but rather than doing that, because I'm kind of working along here, I'm tracing that out, um, I'm just going to hold down the space bar and it transitions to the hand so I can just move without clicking anything over here. Wonderful tool. Okay, uh, holding down the option key to turn that into a, oops. Turn that in, into a corner, making a new one. Did it too much, that's okay. Fix it up later. Okay, and you just go along and continue. I'm sorry that you can't see this very much. Now, I have to say this is one of the more things that may drive you crazy because I do recall, I do recall the pen tool um, being a point of frustration for a lot of people when they were working in, uh, when they were in my grade 10 class. People get frustrated with uh, 
uh, with the pen tool because it's just it it just takes a little bit in order to master. Okay, um, I'm gonna be lazy. I'm just gonna do that, but I'll keep the headrest. Okay, and so I'm doing it now. Why am I doing this? Well, I am. Uh, I don't have to worry about pixels. I can crop this out perfectly and there we go. Now I can crop this out perfectly and then I'm going to turn this into a selection. And it's nice for like say like uh, you got to do straight lines or here I got a circle to do. I'm going to do a circle. I'm going to make that go out there. I'm going to make that go out there. I'm going to make uh, this go out here a little bit. And now I can't see where this is a little bit, so I'm going to just imagine it's probably going to be here. I'm going to take that uh, handle. It's not working. There we go. I'm going to make that handle, turn that there. And I'm just going to do a straight line here along these uh, rocker panels. All right, and then going to go down here. Okay, now if you remember, uh, the pen tool does not work with pixels. Like it's where these are like vectors, which are just straight lines. It doesn't matter how far I zoom in, those vectors are going to hold their, um, are, are going to be perfect. Now I'm going to, I've joined that. Okay, now. I've got this path, and if I zoom back, control is zero to see the whole thing. I've got this path going around the whole thing. Maybe can you see it better there? Yeah, you can see it better there. Now, I've got this, um, I've got this path, and I can edit it. Oh yeah, there was a mistake there, so let's go uh, fix that mistake over here. Um, I'm going to go back to my path tool, and you've got, oh, that's a free pen tool. That's interesting. Uh, I'm going to just click on my path. I should be, there we go, and just bring that guy down and just fix that up. Those handles. Remember those handles are like the gravity of, of it all. Um, now if I were to, I can take that path, which is, if you look over here, see paths? Oh, this is another thing called paths. Look at this, a whole thing that's been right here this whole time and you never knew it was there. Uh, so I'm going to take that path and if I hold down the yeah, it did. Good. Um, I, if I hold down the, uh, in, in my Mac, it's the command key. If I hold that, so I guess that must be the function key or whichever. You're going to have to try whatever it is on a, on a PC. Uh, but if I click on that, I just turn that path into a selection. All right. So what, how does that help me now? So I've got that. It has a perfect selection that has nothing but smooth lines. So now if I copy and paste that. I've got there, and actually, that's as slick as it's going to be, okay? And so, um, and you, you've got your nice straight lines, you've got your nice straight curves, and now they've kind of been uh, s uh, converted to nice smooth uh, pixels, and obviously if this was a higher resolution image, you would see that a lot better, okay? So, um, I'm going to challenge you guys that when you are doing your Photoshop stuff to use the try to use the pen tool just like in grade 10. Okay, um, take care and I hope that this lesson was a good one.